with you. Blessed are you among the men, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Rita, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, if ever na choppy ko, please inform me sa GC right away. Or message lang diri sa chat box na no, para at least makatransfer ko da yun sa phone. As you can see, duha ka account ang ako ang gisulad sa Google Class, uh, sa Google Meet no in case nga oh, dili may akong connection sa laptop, I will just transfer sa phone via data. Okay, mag data ako. So I will share my screen first with you. So this afternoon, I will be discussing chapter 1, which is Creating and Capturing Customer Value. The content of this um, discussion will be the needs, wants, and demands, the seven piece of marketing. I know some of you are familiar with the seven piece of marketing, the four C's of marketing, and some terminologies in the marketing process. No? And even the flow of the marketing process and the marketplace, no, ako po nang i-discuss. Okay, so what is marketing? I know I have already given you um, kan lang, no? Gamay lang overview last week on what is marketing. But to put it simply, no, kadaghan kaayo og definitions ang marketing class. It is because um, marketing is a very broad nga um, part no, sa business. So, marketing is a process by which companies create value for customers and build strong customer relationships to capture value from customers in return. So, this is not just simply sales talk or create advertisements to entice our customers to buy our products. Marketing is so much more than that. No? Although, part ng po na, no, nga mo, advertise ta, no? we let our products be known to the public, ato dyong ipa ipa inform siya daw nga to ang mga consumers nga our products exist no and gabaligya ta ani mo ni siya ang content sa tong product but other than that no um marketing is more on oh, developing strategies no on how do we keep the business afloat nga masking pila pa na ka years nga go operate nga to ang business kanang wala ra punta na lugi no na ra job poy gapasulod nga kwarta at the same time marketing is also involved in identifying the strengths and weaknesses of the company and also comparing no ang performance nila sa ilahang competitors no sudaghan so, kaayo jud og functions ang marketing so this is the marketing process so the marketing process has at least five steps no or five processes no um it comes to uh, from point a to point b but actually no mas Kung mula tao, no, kung sa actual doon siya nga setting, very complex kayo ang marketing process. No? So, gisimplify lang siya aning lima kabuok na steps. So, the first step in the marketing process class is to understand the marketplace and the customer's needs and wants. Before ta mo baligya, before ta mag-brainstorming, unsa ang mga um, potential, no, mga products or services nga ito ang i-baligya, no, i-sell, i-advertise no, sa ato ang consumers na for a while mag-charge ay ko class kay it na lobot akong laptop so we need to know what is our target market what do you mean by target market no mo ni sila ang koan um ang ato yung main no nga consumers no so for example sa dibuk population sa San Carlos City whole group na siya dili man po na siya realistic class nga tanan no, himo ni mo as target market nga. Tanan residente, residente ma'am sa San Carlos City, regardless of their age, no, regardless of their gender, mao na mong target market. So, also, okay man, open mata sa tanan mo sa to ang negosyo, pero dili siya realistic nga tanan po ni mo i-consider as target market. The purpose of having a target market is so that na atay focus, no, na atay ginafocusan ba nga out of all their um out of all the people here in San Carlos City, our main target market are students because we are selling school supplies. So, that could be an example of target market. Your main focus. Um, another example is, oh, out of all the people in San Carlos City, our target market are um, working individuals because 
nga ga offer man mi og computer services no at the same time kanang for example no kanang related sa office or business so no? oh, that could be an example of your target market no so first retirement sa takin sa to target market so since among um, products ma'am kay cosmetics no so most probably mga young teenagers no most especially sa kana mga female nga gender no kay also na may cosmetics for men per usually no ang mo tangkili ko sa cosmetics mga babae also ni ana bi so ga plano mi ma'am nga mo open mi og mag cosmetics nga brand no in in San Carlos City and then among target market kay kana mga batan or no mga dalaga no mga preteens and teenagers so that could be an example of your target market now once you have already established your target market you need to understand their needs and wants. Unsa man ang ilahang mga kinahanglan, unsa ilang gusto. So plano po man ano na kuan pa kang aginahan ko nga magkuan ma magbaligi mi kon pero magbaligi mi cosmetics pero pag survey na ko ma'am kung unsa ang needs and wants ako ang target market or sa marketplace. So sa marketplace kay nakuan man dito ma'am oy nga dili di ay kayo nila ni sa city ang cosmetics no pero sa mo ang survey di ay mas prefer di ay nila nga ko ayon ma'am, no ka ng stationaries or art materials, kaya of course it would be useful for their hobby, or useful po dabi sa ilahang kanang pagskwila, no, projects so muna siya, no, understanding mo unsa ang mga wants and needs ako ang potential target market so at first, you started off with a cosmetics company or cosmetics brand, pero later on pag understand ni mo sa imuhang target market kung unsa ang ilahang mga gusto no, unsa ang ilahang needs you later discovered nga dili di ay cosmetics kayo ang necessity para sa imong target market. Ang ilaha di ang gusto di ay is art materials, stationaries nga very helpful in both projects and their hobby, like arts and crafts. Once you have already understood the customer needs and wants because you've already conducted a survey, no nag-research na ka, we will now proceed with, ay, sorry. With designing a customer-driven marketing strategy. So, sa maning marketing strategy, so, meron na siya o mag-brainstorm mo sa imuhang mga kauban ba ron nga. Kung sa maning, how do we approach our target market nga in a way nga ma-encourage na ito itong target market to buy our products or to patronize our products. Ah, sige, mag-kuanta, mag-establish sa social media presence or for example, no, we will have someone who is very famous to review our product, no, para at least ma-encourage pa nga daghan kaayo ang mukuan sa ato ang sa ito ang products, no? That could be an example of a marketing strategy. Dili lang ka na siya limited to there, no? In advertising. Pwede man, no? Mag-develop mag marketing strategy, no? When it comes to your packaging ba ron, the quality of your products, no? So, mo na siya ang um, designing a customer-driven marketing strategy. Please take note, class, that when you make your marketing strategy based sa unsa ang needs and wants sa imong target market or customers, dapat customer-centered or customer-driven siya, hindi lang siya based sa imong own perception. Based na siya sa unsa ilang gusto. So, mo man ilang gusto, so dapat akong marketing strategy will be based from what they really want. Kaya at the end of the day class, hindi man ikaw mo palit sa imong product. Sila man. So, dapat, no, mo follow ta sa unsa atong data na gathered from our customers. So, marag ka nang nag-benchmark pa ka ba, no, or nag-canvas pa ka nga. Kuan, Um, mag nag-survey pa lang ka, no? pila ka bukang ginahan ani, no? Sa ilang preference. Kakita ko na sa high sa Instagram, guys, no? Kana, before mo, mo sell or mo introduce o product ang uban ng online sellers, no? Mga bag baguhanan pang online sellers, napasalay poll, no? Or murag survey, yes or no, ra ganito, very simple, ra, oh. um, um, Would you like me to sell this product? Yes or no? Oh, so, na siya mag specific amount of time nga, within Two weeks or three weeks, yung determine if pila ka buktao ang ginahan ibalig ibaligyan na ko niya or offer na ko niya ng kind of product. That could be an example of of kano. At least um kadisayd po dyan si seller no or si owner kung unsa ang iya hang gusto ibaligyan. How can she make a marketing strategy out from the data ng yung gikuha from understanding the customer needs and wants? Okay, next construct an integrated marketing program. That delivers superior value. Unsa na kalian anin niya sa marketing strategy? Marketing strategy is basically merag plan nila, no nga kanang asa mata magsugod. How do we encourage our customers? Um, how do we? Ay sorry.
Okay, so, ang nakaliyan sa design a customer-driven marketing strategy class is that, more siya on, asa man ta magsugod. On sa man, how do we encourage our customers? No, How do we um, approach no, our customers when it comes to selling our product? No, Ang image na to ang product. Now, I will read an example of a Okay, next is, ang kaning, ang kaning siya sa Construct Integrated Marketing Program class. It's more on, how do we sell our products na naa siya value and good quality? Muna nakalaan na niya. Sa TGS, how do we sell? How do we advertise? How do we encourage more customers? Muna sa design a customer-driven marketing strategy. C, integrated marketing program that delivers superior value is medyo may nitigriti na na siya nga parts kasi because mas detalyado ni siya because this is more on the quality itself. Kani, more on uh, advertisement, how do we introduce the product, uh, how do we go on. Kani siya is, how do we deliver good quality products no that has value to our customers? So, you get my point? Kada ganing, ang saan na to, paghimo sa kaning mga art materials nga, although aesthetic siya, nindot siya, lantawon, pero, dili siya po mawala ang young quality. Kaya naman kayo ubang plus nga, very aesthetic, nindot kayo siya lang taon, pero it comes to quality-wise or performance, dili siya makadeliver. No? Like, like jewelry, etc. No? Nindot kayo siya, uh, no? aesthetic kayo, pero, dali lang matarnish, dali lang magoba ang clasp, no? dali lang magoba ang, ang, kanang, ang locket, etc. That could be an example. No? So, in here, more siya on, gafocus siya more on quality. No? Quality and value. May yung itag value class is, pa value dito sa customer nga, ay worth it yun ni siya paliton because it has value. No? Um, naani siya ko ay, no? Kanang marag, reasonable po, no? Nga, or, reasonable po nga mugasok ko sa kong kwarta because this, this product has value. Lahi po ng product nga walay value class nga, oh, nindut siya lang tawa, nindut siya lang tawa, nindut siya lang tawa, but it doesn't have any value to me. Kay, Dali man siya maguba, no? Poor quality. Useless na Japan siya. So, as you can see, this is more koan siya, no? Kanang detalyado, mas more siya o kanang mas deeper, no? Ang iyaham program compared to marketing strategy. Kaya kami, more man siya on the external, no? How do we advertise? How do we establish a social media presence? No? How do we sell? But this is more on the product itself. It has to be of quality and has to create value. It has to be of value sa customer na to. Do you get my point? Sabtanda. Nasa mo ABM. Um. Oh, na sabtanda. Dili na choppy. Dili na dam. Okay. Let's continue. Next one is build profitable relationships. Wait, okay, let me see for a while lang sa message. Okay. So, next is build profitable relationships and create customer delight. So, once that nani guarantee nga you know how to sell your product, introduce your product to the consumers, no, establish your presence in social media, advertise kung advertise, and you also develop a program wherein maka-introduce siya og high-quality products with value. We will now proceed with build profitable relationships and create customer delight. How do we build relationships with our customer class? Ninyungun hong kataksan ni mo niya, panguyaban ni mo si customer. No. What we mean about build profitable relationships is more on, um, it comes to my customer service. So, muna siya, no? Okay, mapun ni siya ang very vital po nga part po class sa, sa business na to. Ang ito, customer service class is how you treat your customers. Kunay manguta na, very responsive baka, no? Na ay ba yung mga questions with regards to your product itself, no? Mapa-explain sila. Kung for example, if it's a skincare product, no? Mungutan na sila if kuan ba siya hypoallergenic, no? Or for example, mag-murag jewelry. Uh, mungutan na ba sila if kanang good for sensitive skin ba? Wala ba siya kuan? Wala ba alcohol nga content, no? Kaya yung alcohol can burn man, no? For example, um, or or pwede ba niya for pregnant women nga product na especially kanay uban nga mangutana no so kana class the way you respond no your your quick response 
at the same time no kanang willing kay ka mo accommodate always sa imuhang customers no at the same time um kon pod no kanang muhatag sila og feedback no umoda yung dawat and chatter that itself can make uh, or can help build profitable relationship because kung nindot kay ka mo advertise sa imong product no packaging nimo nindot ka ayo the packaging speaks for the product itself no nga high quality siya high end siya nga product asking ko ana siya no kanang affordable nga product di ba and then nindot pa jud kayo kag value high quality dili dali maguba nindot og performance imong product long lasting and good customer service pa jud no may kay kamo sales talk suggestive selling not only that mo accommodate ka sa mga mga pangutana no mga feedback sa customers no um very responsive kay kanon like for example mo tan na reply dayon ka dayon no dili diha diha dayon for at least mga pila ka minutes no nya sila mga questions either put nya tagali mo dog options so pwede mi mo contact ma'am through email messenger or sms or sa among ig nga kuan so daghang tig options so you can contact someone and then very responsive ka ayo then that is uh, that can capture the value sa customers nga Wow, overall package should you ni sila. Actually, out of no, I've all, also been um ko an class no ga ga support pag ko og mga local shops no or stores. Usually you see that in Instagram no mas kusog ang ilahang press social media presence dito and usually ang uban sila ha is not only nay usa no ning stand out jud no kay na may uban nga business good class nga indot siya nindot siya og kanang advertisement or not kayo siya o pag advertise pag market sa product not kay quality lang product but when it comes nga na kay mga complaints sa kay mga questions dili diha diha da yun maka reply dili niya apos pag kaumay o say dead mo na is in zone na ka sometimes minus point mo kaya nagod na yes narin siya po yung value dira narin siya po yung close relationship between you and the customer or between the seller and the customer but dili siya din nga naka totally siya nga in awe si customer because na may kulang sa marketing process which is building profitable relationships always remember class no para tong ginaingon nga ko an first impressions always last in marketing and in business yes mo na ang matabo because dili na may mabawi class no for example ay wala ra gyud ako na replyan ma'am yun ni bawi na biya tani ko kusod adlaw dili man dadayon nga makabawi ra dayon ta no sometimes na ibang mo an nga sa first impression pa lang daan nila, muna na yung mulas, no? Muna na yung kuan. Muna na yung mutatak silang huna-huna. If they had, or for example, hindi kay reputation yung mukhang business, yung naaray customer nga nakakuan o buak or or bati nga product ang iyong na-receive, automatically, di lang na siya ma-encourage to buy na second time, no? even if, no, mo-apologize pa ka. So, usually, it's very crucial, no? That is why, when you do marketing class, no, marketing plan, etc., importante yung kaayon ni siyang tulo because these three or even kaning upat di ano can help build value for customers and build stronger customer relationships so for us to further understand the marketing process na dili palanta let's get to know the different terminologies no even needs wants and demands kaya mawani pina ka una no understanding the needs wants and demands of our customers so una sa tak dili So under understanding the marketplace and customer needs, wants, and demands, there is nani ang fall kaning tulo, no? So what are needs, wants, and demands class? Kung saan pa nam tulo ni siya kastijas? Api na ko first stage is needs, no? Things that we cannot live without. These are physical, no? Physical states of deprivation like food, clothing, warmth, and safety. We have social. Which are belonging and affection. We belong to a group, no? You in a family, an individual, like knowledge and self-expression. To fully understand what our needs, well, let's try to look at the Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Continue with. Ko an kas ha? Let's continue with needs, wants, and. Pwede ko ka. Pwede ko ka concentrate. Okay, let's continue with needs, wants, and demand. No, again, needs are things that you cannot actually live without, such as food, clothing, warmth, and safety. Wants are derived from needs. Balik taan na ha. So, for example, you need food to live, but you specifically crave for burger and fries. Na matingala ko nga, pwede rabi ato kumukaon, nagmasking on sa nga pagkaon, pero nga naman nga, nag-crave ko o burger and fries. 
maybe it's because you, know, you were influenced by what you saw on social media, like advertise sa si Jollibee or si McDo, no niya, moto, na crave na noon ka. Or nakita ka sa imuhang classmate or sa imuhang friend nga nagkaon sa kantin, o niya, diha diha da yun, no, no, ko nga, lalo, may guru ko, ayun na yung gikaon ay kay Murag, lami mo dyan ng tao ng young pagkaon. That could be an example of want, no? Another example of wants deriving from needs are clothing. For example, okay, you need clothing to keep you warm. Pero nga naman nga, mas, mas nag-crave ka no, to buy, for example, oh, a t-shirt from pen shop or a blazer from Kuan Abin. So, may laing stores nila. Oh, blazer from Gucci. Yung example yan na ha. Ano man, okay, tungod kay nakita mo guna ko tong vlog ni mo ni siya nga YouTuber mom o niya. Ginahan ko kung unsang nasa iyang, kung unsang iyang sinina, ginahan po ko nga na ako ano, or ginahan na ko sa iyang sinina, no? Feel na ko nga, angayan ko ano. So, that's an example of wants deriving from needs, no? So, they are shaped by different um, aspects, class. No? They are influenced by different factors. It could be influenced due to culture. No, kato kong gi-example kayo na no, nga, nga no, ginahan man siya kung mukha og spicy food, no? Pwede mo kong piliglain nga food. Ah, it is because, no, sa muagod kay, nanad na ko, no, pagbata na ko nga, always ako ginapakaon og spicy food. That is why, no, influence po ko to, to want or to crave this kind of food, no? So, Wants are simply you know, influenced by different factors such as social media, your culture, your upbringing, by your friends, you know, what you saw on other people. Like, nakakita ka sa plaza or paglaag ninyo, nakakita ka nga, yung doot ka iyang sinina or yung doot ka iyang bag. So, that could be an example of want deriving from need. Because if you think about it, if nag-focus ako on needs, you know, dili man ka mag-crave o mga yung ane-ane, ano kayo. Ah, basta na lang ko yung ani, na lang ko yung clothing, na lang ko yung food, regardless kung unsa na siya, no, makasurvive naman ko. But that's an example of wants, no. Demands, on the other hand, kung sa level 1, 2, 3 pa, no, na siya sa third level. So, demands are actually wants back up by buying power or purchasing power. What is a purchasing power or buying power class? So, for example, no, um, every day, ang imuhang balon is 50 pesos. Unya, imuhang ko, ano, that is buying power actually, no? So, ang imuhang nakita dito nga, crave ni mo nga ice cream, kay nag-cost man siya og 80 pesos. So, imuhang buying power or purchasing power is only 50 pesos. Therefore, no, kanang siyang ice cream, dili ni mo siya ma-make into a demand, no? Pabili na siyang want because you cannot actually purchase it. So, that's an example of demand, no? So, a, de uh, a want only becomes a demand class if you have enough buying power to actually purchase no, what you want. So, mo na siya. No, so, first, anang, like, add to kwarta ka, no, kay ginahan ka palito na siya, pero wala kay kwarta ikapalit because your buying power cannot back up your want. So, therefore, magpabilin rin ang naasim mong kwarta sa Shopee o Lazada ng want. But, if you have the money, if you have the means to pay, for what you want, no, nasa imuhang, sa ni, sa imuhang cart, no, it, it becomes a demand. Because you're able to afford, no, and pay for it. So, balik taha, needs are things that you cannot live without. Wants are derived from needs. And sometimes these wants are influenced by your culture, by your personality, by what you see on social media, no. While demands are backed up by buying power. So, these are wants, no nga mapalit ni mo siya because you have enough buying power. So, kanay yung 50 pesos class nga balon, that is your buying power. Kay mura man yung ma-afford, no? Kay mura man lang dira, kutub akong balon. But when you start to have a work na, no? Mag-earn mag na abikaw at least 25,000 a month, no? You have already paid your bills, ang extra na nga kwarta, like for example, 10,000, no? That is your buying power. So, you can buy anything, basta below lang sa imuhang oh, buying power. Kamo to ng mga billionaires class, so dako na kay na sila og purchasing power or buying power. No because oh, pwede na kabilhin ang ilahang kwarta. They can purchase anything uh, below sa ilahang purchasing power. So nakasabot ra Na pa mo ABM. Okay, let's now proceed to, okay, 
So, it's now proceed to understanding the marketplace and customer needs. Under a job po na siya sa katong first nga process, sa marketing process class ha. So, we have two terminologies. No? We have market offerings. These are some combination of products, services, information, or experiences offered to a market to satisfy a need or a want. A market offering class can be both tangible and intangible. No? Mahikap o dili mahikap. Ang kanang mga products class, no? kanang mapalit ni mo sa grocery store, makita ni mo, mahikapan ni mo siya, magamit ni mo siya, na siya expiration date, no? na siya shelf life. Those are products. Products can be divided into two. You have the perishable and the non-perishable. May ngon kitag perishable class, mo na siya, uh, person ng food, no? Um, na dali na kaayo siya, madaot, no? Dali ka siya ma-expire. Ang non-perishable, person ng mga gadgets, or dili dali ma-expire, walay expiration date. Under services, those are intangible market offerings. Itag intangible, dili mahikap, no? There are, sometimes dili ganyan makita, no? But, we can actually experience it. An example of services are, pers anong consultations, no? Ano mga nasa clinics like uh, psychiatric clinics, no? Magpa consult or for example, person is a school, no? Although no, both tangible and intangible, no? Because you you have will have to buy books, no? You have modules na makita ng mahikap niyo. Pero no, you're paying your tuition fee for your teachers to feed you with information. That's an example of services, no? Another example of services class kana sa tour and travel agency, no? Mapakonsulta ka sa koan. Konsulta dyan. Mag-ask kag suggestions from the tour operator and from the travel agent. Unsay mga places sa Philippines nga um, nindot suro yan at the same time budget-friendly. No? So, dili man actually ni mo madala no? ang services nga gi-offer ni tour and travel operator. Pero, may experience ni mo siya. No? That's an example of market offering. So, again, market offerings are divided into two. You have products and services. Products are tangible, mahikap, Madala, no, magamit ni mo siya. And, they're both perishable and non-perishable. For services, these are intangible, dili makita, but we can experience it, no? So, depende na ninyo, no? Puhon ko, maghimo mo siya yung business research. Um, but I, I think I highly suggest if mas mayajid class, no, more mo on tangible, ng market offerings, no? Kay, mas dali magod niyo makuha ng budget. No, lisod mong good, mo ang budget ang kanang mga services sa mga information, etc. Okay, next, marketing myopia. So, ang saman niya siya. So, this is, fo uh, marketing, marketing myopia is focusing only on existing wants and losing sight of underlying consumer needs. An example of that is, oh, si seller, no? Kanang, ganoon na siya nga, ah, maura niya siya akong ibaligya kay, para na ako, no, money makapanindot sa ako ang business or, or more ni siya ako ang i-decide kay tungod para na ako no uh, makaginan siya ko ani pero wala siya nagunahon na kung unsa jud ang gusto unsa ang needs and wants ni consumer so big ka focus sa iyang gusto pero wala siya ka focus sa gusto sa iyang consumer again class dili ta dapat short sighted no you need to consider unsa jud ang needs and wants ni consumer it is because sila may mo palit sa imong product dili man ikaw mo bitaw na nga mag-survey sa ta no, kung sa ang mga preferences sa to ang consumers, no, para sa makabalot ang silang gusto and ma-deliver na to siya og sakto. Okay. So, as marketers or as future business owners, we need to set the right level of expectations. When we um, conceptualize no, our business or when we think about what kind of product are we going to sell, we need to set the right level of expectations. Not too high and not too low. Ito not too high class. Ingon ana is, o oh, dapat dili po ni ano kataas kay expectation nga. Ah, dapat ko anjud. No, high anjud akong products, akong mahalon kay tungod para ingnon jud nga high quality. And then wala ka naguna ho na kung unsa jud ang gusto sa imong consumers, no? Ang low expectations pod class, dili na lang ko mag-effort sa imong packaging, no? Or di ka mag-effort sa imong products kay tungod ah Okay na na, oy, bahalag, dili kay perfect or kanang kuan, no, messy kaayo ang packaging sa kong product. Importante ana kay paliton na bitaw Japan na nila, oh. That's a low expectation. So, set the right level of expectation and only focus or at least focus on the value and satisfaction, no. How can we satisfy our consumers knowing nga mo nilang gusto, mo nilang needs, mo nilang wants? 
how do we satisfy our consumers? No, how do we deliver products that are of value to them? How do we deliver good quality products? Okay. Next is exchange. Of course, dili man matabo class nga igo lang si igo lang ka magdawat pod og og kwarta no from your consumers and then wala ka i offer nga something in return so in the business there's always an exchange so an exchange is an act of obtaining a desired object from someone by offering something in return so nakita ni mo nga si consumer na kinahanglan siya ing ani and you deliver what they need no and in return they will have to pay for it no kay ipod mingon nga Oh, nanginahanglan si consumer ani. Eh. Himuo na to siya. Ah, maghimo tag kuan, maghimo tag product nga mo-meet sa iyang needs, mo satisfy si iyang wants. Uh, later na nga masatisfy na si consumer sa iyang wants, no? Kuan ni iyang gusto, mo-himo matiwhay na lang na ma-free, ma-FOC na lang siya or free of charge. So, there has to be an exchange, no? In return, unsa man ni may balik, no? Mo na siya cash man na usually nga to ang kuan, no? exchange of services and products. Okay, let us try to look at this um, illustration. So, this is the marketplace. No? Ang mga tao nga nasa marketplace class kay ang suppliers, company and its competitors, marketing intermediaries, and the consumers. The major environmental forces of a marketplace is ang supplier and consumer and the co company to the consumer. So, nga naman. Okay, we'll start first with the first process. No? So, of course, si company, di man na siya ka manufacture of products no? without supplies. So, si supplier, ang mo, oh, supply, og supplies, no? or muhatag og supplies, sa company and its competitors. O, take for example, kani siya nga company, Abby, is Coca-Cola and, o, oh, and, Ay lang kaya ba siya, makuan ta. Di, ma copyright strike niya ako sa YouTube, char. Kuan na lang, si Soda A and Soda B. So, si Soda A and Soda B, they both sell oh, um, beverages, no? Sodas, mga Coke, mga na. And then, si supplier, oh, siya labi mo hatag, kung ano, ingredients ba yun, pag iimuog soda, or for example, no, kanang mga tin cans or bottles nga, kung asa to i-package, ano, ang katong um, beverages. So, example rin na siya. So, supplier, muhatag siya mga necessary supplies nga needed ni company and competitors. After na nga ma-manufacture, ma-package na ni company and ni competitor, they will need the help of the marketing intermediary to sell their products to the consumers. So, si suppliers, hatag abis siya supplies para oh, makahimo na siya ka ng Coke or soda si company A o si company B and then, oh, i-deliver ba na ro ni company A and B sa marketing in intermediary, which is ano, mga grocery stores, no, parsa ng gaysano, no, may ana, uh, mga sari-sari stores. And then, sila nabahala no, mo baligya sa consumers. No, so, sila so nabahala mo mo distribute sa products no, sa consumers. So, di mo siya automatically si consumer mo, palit siya sa Coca-Cola or sa company dyan mismo. No? So, we need the help of the marketing intermediaries. Now, nga no, gituring man nga major environmental force si supplier and si consumer. Because it is um, important class no, to um, keep in mind ba nga if maot gani ang supplies nga ginahatag or ginasupply ni suppliers, it can also affect the output or the actual product na ni company. No? So, kung yung supply sabi kay substandard no, or contaminated siya, ito lang ibutang, no, or dili siya high quality, ang matabo, no, pag himuna ni company siyang products o pag sell na sa consumers, si consumer either o oh, ma-injured ba siya, no, or wala siya na-satisfy sa product, no, so, musumbalik ka siya po na po sa company because so, they are to blame, no, kay, gikan biya ni ani nga company or gikan biya ani nga kuan, ay, store na ko gipalit ni siya and then, I was injured or contaminated, no? Or nagkasakit katungod ani nga product. And ang main root ana is of course the supplies provided by the company. Not only that, no, dili lang pud si company ang uh, si suppliers ang ang main factor pud, no? Another factor could be the company itself, no, pag manufacture, pag package, no, siguro na ay mga lapses, no, na gap no sa pag manufacture nila. So that can also affect 
the actual product and si consumer na nang end ng receiver and receiver is the consumers nung no, affected po siya. Okay? So this is the marketplace. So what are markets? So markets are the set of actual and potential buyers of a product. Let's now proceed to the second process ng no, katong sa marketing process kanina kung gipakita ninyo. So which is designing a customer driven marketing strategy. So first is selecting customers to serve. So under selecting customers to serve is the marketing. So what is the marketing class? This is to reduce the demand temporarily, permanently, no. Kay very rare naman ka makita nga mag demarketing nga permanently jud nga tangtangon jud ang demand, no. So the aim of the marketing is to not destroy the demand but to reduce or to shift the demand. An example of the marketing is kana makita nimo sa kuan class sa sigarilyo. Di ba makita nimo sa sigarilyo nga ibog gasel siya og og cigarettes pero ano na oh, may nakabutang sa packaging nga oh, throat cancer or mga different kinds of sakit nga makuha nimo sa sigarilyo. Ano mo ragkuan man mom no imbis ginana ko pa itog sigarilyo ma discourage na lang kanya. Sila mismo pud ang mga discourage sa sa buyers so to buy their product. That's an example of the marketing. Mag-ilahar lang i-reduce ang demand no, by putting up kung ano ka ng mga kung ano silang packaging no, nga makapadiscourage sa mupalit. No? So, a reason ano is nagkag-reason ang demarketing class na i-reason is maybe because of policies na yung ban nga reason po nga reduce sila sa demand because gamay na lang ang supplies. Itong no, ibutang nga uh, handmade abi ni siya nga product no unya dili ginahan si seller nga i-face out ni nga product although handmade siya pero iya lang i-reduce ang demand kay tungod gamay na lang ang supplies to make that kind of product an example abi gamit ko gingani nga certain kind of plant to make this handwoven basket pero hindi na ko pwede mo himo og, og daghan pang handwoven basket nga ani nga style it is because dagag na nga matay or gamay na lang akong supply sa plants nga ing ato kay tungod na nga matay na abi kay summer no tong ibutang so muna siya ako lang i-reduce by what no dili na ko siya i-advertise no dili na ko siya ibutang sa kong mga kuan sa photo sa social media kaayo no para at least um, dili daghan makakita no dili uh, dili sila maka demand ana nga product no? so nga naman ang reason no, sa high class nga mag-conduct sila di marketing it is because gamay na lang ang supplies to make that product. And what they do is, you know, dilit nila i-advertise, kung dilit nila i-face out, lahi mo na face out, kaya hindi ko mo baligyan ang product forever. Ang di marketing na is, oh, temporarily unavailable rin niya for now, ma'am, kay wala pa kayo may supplies, or ano nga matay, abing mong plants, kung mo ano nga basket, or, or kung ano, ang mong supplies, ano is wala pa na-deliver, something like that. Oh, that's the marketing. Okay, let's now proceed to the five marketing management orientations. Ay, almost a uh, four na judi ay. So, you'll just continue na lang with marketing management orientations next meeting. So, you have the production concept, product concept, selling concept, marketing concept, and societal concept. Right after the five marketing management orientations, uh, we, will disc uh, we will also learn the seven piece of marketing. So, before na four piece man na siya, Kung yung sa four C's of marketing, per, para sa mga sila. And nadungag lang sa four piece of marketing class is people, process, and physical evidence. So, sa una, product promotion, price, and place, raman na siya. So, karo, no? Yung kuan na siya. Yung evolve siya. Yung daghan na ang seven piece of, uh, ang piece of marketing. Okay. So, before ta mo dismiss, ako as ang ikuan ang inyong hang... module Okay, basta dagan mo questions ba? Okay. So, for your module, 9 pages naman actually ni inyo hang module 1. So, basa mo aning case study, no? Case ni ni Charlotte. So, si Charlotte, naghimo siya og, kano siya ka ng seamstress, no? Naghimo siya og ka ng mga dresses. 
So, basa mo ang case overview. Kay later on na ay questions related to the case. So, kaning discussion questions, the first activity in your module. So, based din siya sa case study, doon rin siya ka questions class, based sa case study ni Charlotte, and then, um, ga-focus ni sa needs, wants, and demands. No, kay naabi, want, si, yung usa niya ka-anak, no, yung sa oman niya nga, di man siya kabalo mo, so, o, oh, kung muna bala basa, yun ako mo spoil. No, di man siya kabalo mo, mo, kung ano, kaninga type of sinina, sa yung buhaton. Okay, next is theories and concepts. Basta lang Japan money. Okay, so next activity is a case reflection. So this is still um, based on the case no, ni Charlotte katong pag pagtahi niya o doha ka book klase nga sinina para siyang anak. No, so Basta mo itong case study and then answer the following questions. Pero, ano kayo sa activity 2 class is, kung ano siya, no, um, based na po na yung reading material po dito sa babaw. Basta ko na po yung needs, wants, and demands. Different kinds of need, like, ito sa 5, Five kinds of needs kay Masa's hierarchy of needs. Basa lang mo ay na Okay, now this activity, kanyang activity 3, marketing exercises, more na siya on your own um, preferences, no? your own needs, wants, and demands. So, sa first chart, oh, fill up your details about your experience in eating lunch in school. So, kung lang ito yung natabo sa una, no? itong wala pa'y COVID, no? I-compare ni mo ang eating lunch in school and eating dinner at home. So, to i-compare if you were satisfied, no, sa both na experiences, no, o sa imuhang lunch or dinner nga food at that time. So, fill up ni siya. No, so, who was there? Kinsa man yung kuyog pag itog lunch sa school, dinner at home, oh, what did you eat? Eh, sulat na dira. And then, why did it happen? So, sulat na po na ni mo dira sa obos. Second activity under marketing exercises. Needs, wants, and demand in Japan. So, basahan natin, let's say you are hungry and your money in your wallet is only 100 pesos. You are thinking of eating Chinese takeout. So, want. O, need kay hungry ka, no? You need to eat. Kaya tungod gutom ka. Pero ang imuhang ginahan ka noon is Chinese takeout, which is already a want. Because your money is only 100 pesos, you can only demand for what? Ang saman diri sa tulo ang imuhang makaya ra og afford. So, mara na yung sulat. No? So, ang makaya na afford ma'am ka ni siya. Kay tungod, below ra siya 100. And sulat na ni mo. So, fill up. No? Asa diri ang imuhang mahimu nga demand. Your need is to eat food. Your want is, asa man ani. O, oh, nahan kumukaon ani ma'am. And then... Because your money is only 100, o oh, asa man diri ang mahimo as demand. Okay, next. Oh, kaning number three. So, Sophia and Marie are friends in school. Sophia has an allowance of 50 pesos a day. Marie has um, an allowance of 10 pesos a day. So, 50 ang balin ni Sophia, si Marie 10 pesos. One day, during recess time, they both went to the canteen. They saw an ice, uh, they saw ice cream being sold for 15 pesos. Both wanted to eat ice cream. The only available flav uh, flavors are vanilla and strawberry. Marie liked chocolate and Sophia loved strawberry. Describe Sophia's and Marie's need, want, and demand. So, is that him? Unsang need nilang duha? Food. Or katong, uh, no. Want nila unsa man. So, ice cream. Unsa nga specific kind of ice cream is sulat. O ka Sophia Abi, iyahang ginahan nga flavor kay o strawberry, kay Marie, kay chocolate. And then, then mo i-describe class kung demand ba siya sa part ni Sophia or dili. Knowing nga, 50 pesos man ang balin ni Sophia o niya tag 15 pesos ang ice cream, 
Does it become a demand or not? Sulat na nimo. Kay Marie, on the other hand, yung allowance is 10 pesos. Uh, they need food and specifically want chocolate ice cream. Pero wala may chocolate ice cream nga available. So, ang want diri ha, yung want is chocolate. So, yung favorite nga flavor, gusto niya pa ito is chocolate. Pero wala may chocolate flavor. Dayon, yung kwarta is 10 pesos. So, ang kaniyang want nga chocolate ice cream, does it become a demand or not? Kung not, nga naman, unsa ang duha ka factors, nga no, wala siya na himo as a demand on the part of Marie. So, ano era? So, basahan ninyo ni kanisya nga problem, no, kanin ka Sophia and Marie. Sulat ni mo diri sa needs of food. Nag-need sila food, ma'am. Ang want niya kay ka Sophia, gina want siya, o. Oh. Yahang gusto is strawberry ice cream. Ang ka Marie, ginaan siya chocolate ice cream. Does it become a demand for Sophia? Probably yes, no, kay Iyang purchasing power, 50 pesos. O niya, tag, 15 raman ang ice cream. Kay Marie, o, oh, pamuna balaan, Sir Anna. So, activity 4, fill in the matrix. So, assuming, no, nga money mong morning ritual, last na ni nga activity actually. So, money mong ritual before ka mag to sa school, no, kato pang wala pa pandemic. Isulat ni mo diri, unsa ang brand, Kuan mo ka nang marag Napatronize ni mga brand of food no Brand of hot dog baron Toothpaste, car no? So, for example, eat breakfast Muna akong first ritual Kung saan mo product ginapatronize So, kuan ako ah, ma'am Ka na oh, Tender juicy kay tungod Muna akong breakfast at ngayong morning Ano abe? So, buta ni mo unsa nga brand sa hot dog Kung wala ka rin ka on og hot dog Kung saan mo hanggi breakfast Kuan ma'am Pagkaon ko o uh, corn beef. On sa man nga corn beef o Argentina abi. So may butang dira. Brush your teeth. On sa yung brand of toothpaste yung mong preferred. Butang ni mo dira. School transportation and while in transit or for example o. Oh, di abi ka mamina o music. On sa man ang panang ko ah. No? Uh, usual nga, nga platform ka maglanta. Like before kumag to school na mo, ang toko sa Facebook. So, dili limited to radio station, ha? For example, dili applicable abi ni siya. Aning radio station. Pwede man, like, social media, like, Facebook, Instagram. So, before ma mo, open sa kong Instagram or Facebook or Messenger or YouTube, no? Or going to school. So, that's an example. Okay? Under, um, hierarchy of needs. Ima identify Kaning breakfast, unsa man ni siya? Does it belong to? Katong sa masa hierarchy of needs, asa man siya na belong? Oh, sa food. Sa so brush teeth, oh, pwede man siya sa oh, self-esteem. Kung nalang nang ikuan sa inyo, ha, kasi mag mo. Oh, transportation, kung na fill up. No, asa man siya nabilong sa katong five Muslos hierarchy of needs. Security ba? Belonging na, self-esteem, self-actualization. So, kaning social media, pwede man, no, ah, asa ka na, self, can it boost your self-esteem? No, na ba sense of belonging na, etc. So, ano da? So, specify niya siya nga need based on Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Example rin na siya dira sa babaw. Want. Okay. So, specify. No? Kanina mong gikaon nga breakfast. Kanina kong gikaon nga breakfast pag morning. Want ba to na ko or napakoy gusto nga lain ka unun? For example, akong gikaon pag morning ma'am kay ka ng Argentina nga corned beef. Pero dilik man ako siya want. Akong gusto is... O, bacon. O, muna siya maibutang. Toothpaste, ma'am, okay naman. O, muna Japon. Kung imuhang brand of toothpaste gigamit is just the same as your want. O, copy na lang na siya dira. Brand of car. O, wala abay car. O, sa po, motorcycle. Tanin mo, motorcycle ra. Yung mong specify want is, dili ko ginahan mo sa kag motorcycle, ma'am. Kaya ginahan ko maride sa jeepney or car. O, butang ni mo dira po. And then, check if it's a demand. For example, sa mong want, Oh, diri ha, ako na lang i-fill up ni para mas koan, makasabot mo. So, sa morning, akong gikaon kay corned beef. Dayon, under ni siya sa food or physiological needs. Pero, kung gusto siya ka unon is, koan abi, um, bacon. Kaning bacon, does it 
Uh, is it a demand in my case? Oh, yes, because uh, we can afford to buy bacon. If dili, o di may ka-afford mo ka pahit og bacon, mom, kaya tipid-tipid sa meron, pwede man, ang patang nakalag, no. So, kana ra. So, same as yung nga process sa ubos, no? Same yung brand of toothpaste na ginagamit, no? unsa siya under yung masasarki of needs, o, pero unsa siya yung mukhang specific nga want, if more siya po niyong gusto nga toothpaste, pwede naman niyong kopyahon. Is it demand? Oh, yes. So, mo base ka sa yung mukhang demand, ay, check, di, ay, sorry, place ta og check, So, place lang mo og check. Dira ano kayo. Di ko ka-check dire. Insert ta og check bi. Hmm. Bay check dire. Okay, wala man. So, understandable na ang check ni ingin mong ibutang dire. So, butang na lang ko og yes or no. Okay, di ko kabutang og check. So, same as yung punta dire, no? Kung, for example, kung sa'yo mukhang, yun lang, alam mo, lantaw ko ko on, mom. O, minaw na ko abi og, lantaw ko og YouTube abi before ko mag to sa school and then, sa man yung siyang specific kind of need, pwede man, o self-esteem. Kung nabahala, di na mong butang. And then, want, but I'd rather watch, oh, ano, abi. But I'd rather watch, oh, Netflix, abi. And then, check if it's a demand. Not gani, oh, pwede naman. Check lang na, hindi ko kabutag check din eh. Okay, nakasabot round sa, oh, ng activity 4. Sample na nang nasa babaw ha. Pwede na ninyo mailis-ilisan. Oh, gets na IBM. Okay. So anyway, ang deadline ani is on the 16th naman siya po. So kanina na, four activities ra for module 1. Kaya wala pa man ta sa market segmentation. Okay, now may mga additional questions, paliwag PM na po unya sa group chat. Okay? Questions, mga pangutan na. ABM. Ano sa day? Wala na sa ako. Okay, how about the others? Sila yung mga panguta na. Okay, so since sila na may mga panguta na ang uban yung mga classmates, so you'll end our class with a prayer. Sige lang ba, since sa internet po, gulo na kagalisod po ko o mute po kanina. So, since sila na may mga questions, you'll end our class with a prayer. So, see you on, eh, mumit pa di ay kunin nyo sa Thursday for business research for pre-recorded video na to siya. Nag-recording na ko gahapon, okay? Di na ko madungan ang stem ng ABM. Ako lang gi-record. Mahatag na ko og link later on sa recorded video. Nantawaran siya po nyo 11 to 12. Okay? So, we will end our class with a prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son.